tip I like to use a lot when we're talking about forms is about adding some additional buttons to a form. So what you can see in front here is a very simple form that we have uh, with just a title, description, client in there. And you can see that we have our standard save and cancel buttons. But you can also see that we actually went in and modified this form and actually added a clear form button. So basically if I type in some kind of title and I hit this, it actually is going to clear the form out and get rid of it. Now this is kind of a simplistic example, but a lot of times what you have from a user perspective is there's really only two default things that come in a, a list form or a content type form and that's a save and cancel and sometimes what we want to be able to do is get people to functionally do something else so especially if it's a really long form or it's a form that's kind of very confusing and that people may want that option to clear the form and do something else but there could be other buttons so let's take a look at another example right here and what you'll see here with this form is actually we have a little bit more contextual information about it so instead of just going with the standard SharePoint save and cancel now we're actually doing some contextual information where I'm actually filling out this form and it looks like I can save a draft here maybe be able to save it to be able to work with it later and then also submit the information and so what you're really looking at here it's not as much about needing to add extra buttons as it's saying that let's say that you have you know an approval process or something or, or if you've ever used a SharePoint out of the box approval process and you've seen the form and it says approved uh, uh, you know decline you know uh, make a suggestion whatever it could be it's about not always just following to the simple standard buttons that we have but instead thinking above and beyond that and thinking about other things that we could do because one of the things you can still do in forms is you can do action on top of those forms kick off a workflow or something like that that can be really good for users so think of these very much in contextual manners that sometimes that whole purpose of two buttons doesn't have to be there but you can give users multiple options to be able to do things